So yeah, I'm Caroline Peterson. I'm the Learning Network Coordinator in Sanby. I'm, I'm in the Fainboss program, but playing a broader role as well. It's a primer in the sense of like a textbook. Um, it's a handbook of tools that can be used for mainstreaming biodiversity into development. The idea for the primer came from UNDP, United Nations Development Program, who felt that South Africa had a lot of tools that we need to showcase to the rest of the world that we've developed over the last 15 years or so. Um, really the tools that fall into our landscape approach to conserving biodiversity. So working both within and beyond protected areas to conserve biodiversity and then also to build resilience to climate change, um, to, to strengthen ecosystems, to be able to adapt to climate change. And so we started the process about a year ago. We had some workshops in Pretoria, one workshop for each chapter of the book. So, you know, the book focuses on a whole lot of different topics like um, mainstreaming in production landscapes, the tools that we use in our business and biodiversity initiatives and sustainable farming initiatives, that's one, or the biodiversity stewardship tools that we've developed, or the land use planning and mainstreaming tools, uh, the national policy and planning tools, and then finally the environmental public works programs. And then, well, the last chapter is about partnerships for implementing all of those tools. Mm -hmm. I think that the three-tier model of stewardship that we've developed is an example of a tool that's featured in the book. So here you'll see, for example, an explanation of South Africa's National Protected Areas Expansion Strategy and then the stewardship tools that help us to do that. So one way you can add land to the protected area state is by acquiring it and another way is through contract agreements with the owners of the land where they agree to be stewards of the biodiversity on their land. Um, it was launched at the 10th Conference of the Parties to the Convention on Biological Diversity at uh, Nagoya in Japan uh, on the 25th of October. It was received very well. I think um, people are very interested in South Africa. There's, we have quite a high profile, maybe because of the World Cup or <laughs> because we're just a, a, quite a well-known country. We had a very good turnout at the launch. We had a num people from a number of different African countries. We had the minister from Namibia coming. Um, our deputy minister, Rejoice Mabudafasi, spoke and introduced the book. And Dr. Tanya Abramsa, the CEO of Sandby, also spoke. And I think people were very interested to hear some of the content from Dr. Abramsa about what's in the book. And yeah, it was, it, it was a very positive reception and a lot of enthusiasm about translation. And the idea for the Portuguese translation came up there. So yeah, I think it's more to inspire people. I think different countries will read different parts of the book and take different things from it, adapt it to their own circumstances. I don't think it's a recipe that you could apply to another country because every country has its own situation. But hopefully there are things in the book that people are interested in finding out more about. For example, working for water, a lot of people know about it, um, but they may not know exactly how it works. They may not know about wetlands and fire and lands and the other environmental public works programs. So they've got a whole chapter where they can find out more information. They can also see what websites to go to to get further detail. And I think that's how people use it. They'll dip into it and find the things that are useful to them. The editorial panel was myself, Mandy Cadman, who's a freelance author. There's Mandy Driver from Sanby Policy. Mandy Barnett from uh, the uh, Famous program of Sanby. And then also Nick Sekron from UNDP, um, Sean Asani Munzetzi from the Department of Environmental Affairs, and Crystal Mays from Sandy. Um, and just on, incidentally on that, we, we, the World Bank have uh, agreed to fund a Spanish and a French translation of the book. We're hoping to also get it translated into Portuguese because it would be useful for Angola and Mozambique and potentially Brazil um, to, yeah, to be able to read it. Um, in Portuguese.